insist too long after your own defeat. Come then, have your resolution. After a hundred thousand years of slumber, the Didact emerged from his crypt, intent on destroying the human race. And while the annihilation of mankind seemed like an easy task, the UNSC Infinity would not go down without a fight. This is my Halo Forerunner diorama. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The Forerunners have returned. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we are doing something truly magnificent creating our four and a diorama. This is part three. You can check part one, where we create the display base for this Phaeton gunship, and part two, where we make the Didact versus Fireteam Majestic diorama. But today is the big day. It's part three, where we're displaying this with as many forerunners as possible. I think probably the most that have ever been on a display like this, certainly on YouTube. Usually when I create a diorama, I start by doing the UNSC forces, and then I display the enemies. But this time we have so many enemies, and they're coming from the Didax crypt, that we may as well display them first. We'll start with the crawlers, and really, we've got two different kinds of crawlers today blue and red. Now if you played Halo 4 you know that originally the crawlers are blue until the Didact takes them over and they become red. So we're going to divide these into blue and red and we're going to have all the red ones around the Didact and the blue further away like they're not quite under the Didact's control. Blue over there and we'll start with these two snipers. The crawler snipers are always a little bit further away so we'll have one on top of this rock here on top of the tower here. Cauldron Clash, just always such an awesome set. And then we're gonna have a large concentration around the Didact. Right now we've got Fireteam Majestic fighting the Didact. I immediately think we need to make a little more space here. So let's say that Fireteam Majestic are pushing towards the Didact. He's already taken out a few of the Marines. So we'll put the Marines weapons just scattered around and then we'll have two Marines. They've just been decimated by the Didact. The Didact's got the third one in his clutches and is charging towards Fireteam Majestic. Spartan Madsen, I think we'll retreat him away a little bit. Maybe we'll put him on top of the Mammoth, fighting off these Promethean crawlers. Couple running down the ramp. DeMarco firing his battle rifle this way, one-handed. Couple of these crawlers coming over the ledge here. And you know, once we add some UNSC forces, we'll maybe reposition these a little bit, but we're getting a good idea of exactly what we want on our diorama. And the further away they go, the Didact starts to lose control and they slowly become blue. Pretty epic so far, but we're only just getting started. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. Some watchers decorate these all over the battlefield. A couple of these AC watchers too. And then we've also got 343 Guilty Spark. Times two. We can pop the red-eyed Guilty Spark close to the Didact one here. For these transparent ones, these little pieces here on top of this armory bay back here coming out of here. One more red one. We'll give the Sentinel a longer display piece and move them over there. Welcome everybody to day two. I've made some tweaks in the meantime. Only some minor ones. I've extended this lava and sort of locked it together here. I've added Madsen on top of the mammoth. Moved a few things around. We've got the mongoose splattering this crawler sniper and everything else is just really ready to go. We've got so many more foreigners to display on this. I'm very excited. I got a load more Prometheans here. We'll add some more of these crawlers, just dot them around but then we need to start thinking about the UNSC Infinity because there's just so many figures on this diorama, we're gonna lose track of where we are. We'll have a couple of these crawlers jumping on top of the Mantis, trying to break it down. Let's look at some UNSC forces now. The main big dog, we got Captain Lasky. He's gonna be commanding the charge. We've actually got two Laskys today. This guy as well who came with the UNSC Mammoth, but this is just gonna be more like a civilian in this diorama. Lasky is going to be the main guy in charge, and I think I'll have him across this deck here. Promethean Knight with a scatter shot. This is probably not going to end well for him. With the Knight's sword, it's going to be 
cutting through a marine. That's our first night of many that are going on this diorama. John 117, the Master Chief, and the Arbiter. This is from the Halo 5 Guardians Special Edition Pack. This one I've kitted out with some Call of Duty tack packs, just, just for fun, you know? Nice combat knife there. We're gonna kit these two out with a lot of weapons. The Master Chief, light rifle in his back, bolt shot, scatter shot in his hand. He's gonna be taking out a lot of forerunners here. The Arbiter, we've got an energy sword and a nice painted needler. So we're gonna have the Master Chief and the Arbiter back to back on the top of the mammoth and they're going to be fighting off a load of Promethean Knights. This one will have been scatter shotted. Actually, we're gonna move this one forward and we're gonna take advantage of these two angled red pieces here so we can have him hurtled backwards. That's one. The Arbiter's looking this way to take out a translucent crawler and the Master Chief bolt shotting another Promethean that's coming towards them like this. We got this special piece here. This is connected all together and this is really cool because we can put one watcher in there and we can suspend one watcher at an angle like this, flying around the side of the ship like that. What is it? More brutes? Worse. That's looking pretty good. Now, the main Spartan reinforcements are here. Fireteam Venom. I don't know why, but I love the lime green Spartans. And we've got a whole lot of them for today's diorama, including the Fireteam leader, this Spartan Defender from the Series 1 Halo Heroes. I love this figure. He's got the really nice Storm Rifle, so he's gonna be leading the charge for sure. Then we've got all of these different Spartans. Now, I got some very special weapons for these. A lot of them are nice printed weapons, all from Halo 5 Warzone. Oceanic, this Beam Rifle. He'll be taking sniper support up here too. This Promethean trying to take the Oceanic out, but this Spartan here, Gungnir, with the translucent shotgun covering his buddy. We've got this gorgeous battle rifle here and this beautiful DMR as well. Spartan soldier will have the DMR. He's running towards the battlefield as well. The battle rifle up here providing some support even though it doesn't have a scope on it. We've got Reaper Marami's dual wield energy swords here slicing through the field. This beautiful Master Chief green assault rifle, sort of the Halo 5 Guardians look. They're all just pushing forward towards the didact. They'll be met with a lot of resistance which I'll add later. And then the scout obviously has to have the sniper rifle. He's gonna be taking out that crawler there. These muzzle flares are awesome. Fire Team Venom! Who's gonna be carrying the flag? You gotta plant that flag in the Krypton, buddy! That's really good placeholders for Fire Team Venom. Let's add some enemies. Promethean forces incoming. A watcher here engaging with the assault rifle. This one being sorted. Sorted? We'll also give the scout a tactical backpack. We'll give a couple of weapons into the backs of these Spartans. Then we got one pulse grenade we gave to the soldier and two more pulse grenades with these Promethean soldiers. So we're gonna have the silver one as the commander, I guess. He's pushing through the battlefield here. This one's charging towards this Spartan with the scatter shot. He's about to get a bad surprise from this warthog. It's gonna splatter straight into him. I guess this one will have taking out a marine here. The marine just shot against this crate. Two more Promethean watchers. Then we got a bunch more crawlers. Their arm's looking good. Thank you. Okay, so I've devised all my marines into fire teams, all with very specific purposes. Let's get these on nice and fast. First of all, Lasky, who is now just a commanding officer, is leading all of these Halo 4 marines, and they're just assembling outside the battlefield. This is Commander Lasky. Helkin recon teams are down. Repeat, all birds are down. Next up, we've got Spartan Palmer, and she's leading some sort of covert up security marines. Seal her up! Looking good, looking good. Commander and his two officers, they're gonna be engaging with this Promethean soldier right in the heart of the battlefield. These four Marines are led by the Red Sergeant. They're going to be pushing through with this mongoose straight in the middle as well. One of them will have been overwhelmed by one of the crawlers. This guy's leg's already a little damaged, so he'll have lost his leg. We got one more Fireteam Venom jetpacking through the air. Four more Marines, we've got two medics and these two marines are trying to support them push the medics through to the battlefield then i've got the call that these guys are injured maybe they're working their way around the side we need one more base plate two little base plates attached by a little four long piece here first medic is trying to support the fallen soldier second medic 
Providing a little bit of fire support. If I'm going, you're going with me. We've got these Marines. These are all old articulation and we're just gonna dot them around. They've already lost their lives to the battle. Rest in peace, no armed Marine. This is looking pretty epic. I'm very happy with this so far. Let's add the rest of the knights. Seven more knights to go. First of all, this incineration cannon knight. He's about to be sworded by this Spartan here. We'll have one at the armory bay by the back. These small square base plates are perfect for balancing the knight while being a little bit subtle as well. So we'll have one more knight running towards Palmer there. One more knight over here. He's running straight for this soldier. The piece de resistance today, that 70s dude and his hobbies, explosion that we used in the Deliver Hope cat trailer, hurtling this poor marine through the air. I'm gonna do some more tweaks and I'll get back to you in a minute. Your ascendance may yet be prevented. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The Halo Promethean Diorama by The Domain. And honestly, I just could not be happier with it. Everything came together exactly as I envisaged. I had a smaller diorama like this in my bedroom and I thought I'd extend it to basically double the scale and it really paid off. The highlights for me, I love this Didact versus Fireteam Majestic fight. I think it has so much life and you can really imagine what they're doing in that moment. I love Fireteam Venom. I think all of their painted weapons are just phenomenal. And especially, I love this beam rifle. I love how Spartan Madsen's offering sniper support. Really all three of these just sniping down. I love the concentration of Marines and how they all have a sergeant or a squad leader. And they've all, they're all engaged in their own separate battles. That 70s dude and his hobbies explosion just blows my mind every time. And then I love this little Commander Lasky. He's doing a great job. And then this Arbiter and Chief standoff. You imagine that they would be defending the assets of the Mammoth. They're locking it down as much as possible. And there are just so many Prometheans. Let me know in the comments, who do you think will win this battle? It's quite interesting. I love this jump pack with the energy sword as well. Just everything about this diorama is awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is part three of three. And thank you very much for giving me the support on all these parts. Let me know what kind of diorama you would like to see next. I'm thinking about a Halo Wars 2 diorama. We'll see if that comes to fruition. And other than that, it's four weeks time until I'm back to Hong Kong. I need all your support. I need you to rally behind me. Keep the likes and comments flowing. We will make it to Hong Kong and we will continue videos as long as my channel just continues to increase. This has been another epic diorama with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I'll add a badass montage at the end of all of this stuff. Make sure to check out all my other videos. And the Halo Heroes Didact himself is signing off. Shh.